What's up everybody, it's Colby Rips back with another video today. I hope you guys are doing great. Um, this past weekend I got to go to a card show in Sheffield, Alabama, which is in the Muscle Shoals if you're familiar with North Alabama. It was about an hour and 15 minute drive from where I live here in Huntsville. And I just wanted to go over with, uh, with you guys some of the things that I bought um, and found at the card show. It was primarily a baseball um, theme, not themed, but based card show. A lot of the guys had old baseball cards, old baseball packs like this uh, Bowman 1989 and the Top Stadium Club 1992. And uh, it was a good time. Not many tables. I'd say about 15 to 20 tables. Um, but overall, I, uh, I enjoyed it. So first, I'm going to go through some of the cards that I picked up. I found some really cool cards. Um, a lot of the slabs, they wanted uh, too much, but uh, I went ahead and picked up some non-graded cards. Uh, this is an Allen Iverson second year, and I like it because it has this all rookie 1997 and all 1997 first team. And uh, I also like the picture for an upper deck card, or Fleer card from 97. Um, it's pretty good camera quality. Um, the next card I picked up was a Justin Jefferson rookie card, uh, Select. I like Justin Jefferson a lot for the Vikings, and I think that if he continues playing at the pace that he is playing right now, then uh, this card could be worth some good money down the road. Uh, I got a Bo Bichette rookie card, and then uh, I met a dude who was selling a Jeter lot for $15, so I picked up a Jeter jersey card. I don't think it's game used. I picked up a 1998 minted card, Derek Jeter, he sold, sold it to me in the lot for about $4. And then uh, a nice Topps Chrome Jeter double play card. A Jeter top prospect card from 95. And then a regular Topps Chrome Jeter card along with, I like this one the most I think, um, a Jeter uh, Spectrum card, I guess. I'm not sure what, Upper Deck Spectrum, yeah. So uh, pretty cool Derek Jeter lot. And then I got, I'll get into uh, my Braves pickups. I talked to a guy, he had a whole Braves binder and I was going through and I said, hey, give me this card, this card, and this card for 10 bucks. And he was like, sure, let's do it. So I uh, got a Dansby Swanson rookie card in the lot, an Ozzy Albies Bowman Best rookie card, and this card, uh, it's an insert of the Braves with Albies and Acuna, and it is, the future is bright. So uh, some pretty cool cards for 10 bucks. Um, I got a short print of Christian Pache from the uh, Holiday Edition. You see he's wearing the Santa hat rather than his regular hat. I found another rookie card for Ozzy Albies of a Future Stars insert. Um, and then this card I thought was pretty cool. It is a uh, RP, or not an RPA because he's not a rookie, but it's a patch autograph of Travis Darno when he was still with the Mets. Um, numbered to 25. It is a sticker auto, but uh, he gave it to me for 15 bucks, which might be a little over the comparisons, like if you look it up on eBay. But I really, really uh, want to build a team full of uh, Braves players, whether it's autographs, patches, rookie cards. So this will fit right in. Um, 2020 Silver Slugger Award winner for the National League. And then uh, this last card was probably my favorite of the bunch. It is a uh, foil refractor of a Braves New World, and it's numbered to 264. And it is both Ozzy and uh, Acuna, high five, and probably in the middle of a diamond after a win. So uh, those are some of the cards that I picked up. I uh, probably would have spent more money, but I ended up losing my debit card, which was probably a sign from uh, from God. Hey, you need to chill out a little bit. Um, I'll have some videos coming later with some of these packs. I got a couple of each, and then uh, I actually got 72 packs of the Stadium Club 92s. So uh, you'll be seeing some of these filter through um, in the later videos. But the meat of this video I want to get into was uh, this $10 mystery pack. So the guy that sold me the Travis Darno um, autograph patch card was like, Hey man, I got these mystery packs. Um, they're $20 minimum value in the comps if you look on eBay. But I'm selling them for $10 because usually they don't... Uh, well, he didn't say they don't sell for singles. But I'm assuming they don't sell for singles. So he puts them in mystery lots and then people buy the pack. So I figured, you know what? I'm sure the YouTube would love that. So uh, I went ahead and picked one up and we're going to jump into it today. I'm a little excited. I can feel that uh, there's a top loader in there. Um, I doubt there's any slabbed cards, and I doubt that there's going to be any autographs, but we might be surprised. There might be like a rookie autograph of one of the lesser known players. But uh, we're going to jump into this. Got it cracked. And we're going to cover it up with a Lucky Jeter. So I didn't see who it was. 
show you guys empty um, empty bag so we'll pull this first card out and we start with an Aristides uh, Aquino for the Reds rookie card and that is a part of the Inception um, tops and set actually it might be Bowman Inception um, but that's a pretty cool card a rookie card of a Reds player I'm sure Matt will be a little bit jealous again but uh, I've never actually seen an Inception card, so it's pretty cool seeing one in person. You know, I see the comps on eBay and stuff, but uh, that's a dope card. The next card is going to be an Absolute Baseball Jared Kalinick Prospect. So pre-rookie card of uh, Jared Kalinick. It's from 2021, so I'm surprised they don't have the rookie designation. But uh, this is one of those unlicensed products because it's a uh, Panini. But a dope card for a player that's up and coming. Going to be one of the superstars of the league. Um... Next card is a Juan Soto insert refractor. So that's a pretty cool card. Um, like I said, I you know, there's probably gonna be value in all these. We won't get like one huge hit, but uh, that's a dope card for uh, to be a part of the mystery pack. The next card will be a, oh, awesome. So it's multi-sport, I didn't know that. He, uh, he was only really selling baseball cards at his stand. But a multi-sport, so we get a mosaic Barry Sanders with a Detroit Lion, a little bit of refraction on that one the next card is going to be a calvin ridley mosaic base um, another cool card and this one also looks like a mosaic football and that is landon collins uh prism or mosaic so pretty cool him throwing in different sports i actually see that this next card is basketball so it's nice to have another sport in there it's a keldon johnson rookie card from nba hoops um, that's from the 2019 to 2020 version or release. Um, next card is Bryce Harper. And this, I think, is another, yeah, Panini. Um, this is Diamond Kings Baseball. And that is from the 2015 release. But that's a pretty cool card. I might end up giving that to my friend Drew, um, being a Nationals fan. He was actually, he went to the card show with me. Um, I think we had a good time. We stopped and got some lunch and uh, headed back but he mentioned to me that he didn't have a uh, Bryce Harper card so I might end up giving him a gift giving that to him gifting and right behind it look at that it's another Bryce Harper so uh, maybe I'll have I'll give him a pick of the two um, this is a 2013 Bryce Harper um, it is his second year so his second year hometown heroes uh, Washington obviously with Panini so it's gonna be uh, unlicensed but with the Nationals obviously a Bryce Harper second year card. The next card is Fernando Tatis, and that is from the 2021 Tops. Uh, I'm gonna look and see. It looks like an insert. It doesn't say what uh, type of card it is, but it's an insert. And uh, zero to 60 home runs for uh, old Nando, cover boy. Here's the next card. We got a Jorge Soler, so that's a pretty cool card back when he was with the Cubs before the. Uh, or in between the stints with the Royals. The next card is a nice little card. It's an insert from 2015 of uh, Trout, C Miguel Cabrera, and Nelson Cruz. So three really good players. Um, all going to be Hall of Famers at some point. Uh, Nelson Cruz might be a little bit more arguable. But uh, Trout and Mickey for sure. And then uh, we got two more cards here. Here's a uh, Patrick Williams from the Chronicles. It actually looks a lot. It is the exact same type of card as this uh, Lamelo Ball um, that Panini Chronicles honors. So uh, good little card in that mystery pack. And the uh, last card is a Key Brian Hayes rookie debut. So uh, not bad for a $10 mystery box. Of course, we didn't have any huge hits that you know swept us off our feet. But I definitely think we... Um, made money which he did say on the package that it was a $20 minimum value which is hard to believe when you're selling them for $10 but really cool um, I did not expect this uh, mini first of all but also the quality of the cards uh, obviously the unlicensed baseball isn't my favorite but um, when you get a second year card of Harper no matter what whether it's unlicensed or not is a, a great card and I really didn't expect to see mosaic football in there uh, but I, uh, I appreciate it. Let me know uh, what you thought in the comments. And uh, be looking forward to some more videos this weekend. I had an interview at the University of South Alabama Physical Therapy Department for grad school. And so uh, I had a little gap in my uploads. But I should be back to normal by this weekend. So expect something on Saturday. Maybe Sunday. Um, I might be busy watching football. 
but uh, we're going to get things rolling. I uh, appreciate you watching. Hit that like button and uh, subscribe.